my fans from any of my other channels, maybe this even is... my Raider Central channel. If you're watching this video, it's because you love me. He's going well, to that's what I got going on. York. Well, I'm wearing a Christmas hat and some awesome retro gear. Why? Because I'm going and being blessed to go to an event in York, Pennsylvania this September 14th. Just a I'll few be weeks there. Away. That's right. We're going to the end of summer Nickelodeon event. Lollapalooza. Whatever you want to call it. Dude, it's going to be in like a gymnasium. Event. So before I go Yeah, why further, are they calling it? If you need more information. Is this endorsed by Nickelodeon at all? No, no. no, no, no. So it's just a bunch of washed up. Stuff. Yeah, child it's actors in, in a gymnasium in York, Pennsylvania. It's not even the like good one. It's stars like fucking actors? nobody. I mean, the king of our yeah, game, I would assume. Nick Arcade, Phil Moore, will Phil be Moore from Nick Arcade will be there. Truly, Zeke the Plumber. I mean, Doc. He's gonna be like. Nickelodeon Solution Shorts will be there. Maybe. Oh wait, never mind. He's, he no, Phil Moore. He's gotta be 60, 60 He's gotta be my dad's age. Maybe seventy. Dude, Nick Arcade was like 1990. It was like 30 fucking years ago. And he was like middle-aged then. Not old, but maybe in 30. He's got to be at least 60. Yeah. We got Danny Cooksey from Terminator as well. Who? What the fuck just fell off his hat? Looks like it fell out of his mouth. It's There it is. Falling. It's like on Should his head. Be there? Maybe yeah. You're right. Yeah. Oh, it's part well. of the hat. It's and just falling shorts. apart because it's so <laughs> old. We got beautiful superstar Natanya Ross from she Secret World of Alex Mack. Is what? Be attending. We got Alicia Reyes from all that. Who? Beautiful as well. Attending. We got Danny Tamborelli from all that. No. Attending. Oh, I have to go. 100%. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. There's. I have to go now. I have to go. Dan one stone. Danny from Danny and Mike will be there. I have to go. Like, now I'm like, okay, I'm going to drive seven hours in three weeks to go fucking make a fool of myself. But it'll be worth it. To you guys. Or girls. I don't know. We got Lori Beth Dunberg from all that showing up. That's not She's her last beautiful. name. It's we got Timber. Josh Server showing up from all that. I mean, all that. Is Josh from all that. I remember Josh him. All that. He was like one of the leaders. And I'm sure there's some other people. I'm, I'm sure yeah. there's other people. <laughs> so forgive me, but we got a ton of Nickelodeon actors and. Uh, I wish up. I I should like I want to call the like. Place and be like, is Michael Ray Bauer a hundred percent there before I come? So you're gonna be around retro video games, retro actors that are gonna be. Maybe I can buy some video, taking photos, some video games. We have to, we have to you know, charge because how much? Trying to make a living, but. That sounds so I scummy. It's gonna be a good time. We have and to charge. To your to the event early, we have to make a living. Might get a discount. I don't know. Sure. Mm. I That's need to do more research. This is so funny. Did you I'm hear sure that? You. It's gonna be a good time. And if you want to pick up your tickets to the event early, you might get a discount. I'm not quite sure. I need to do more research. You might get a I'm discount, sure. but I don't know. But it, it doesn't matter. Come hang out with me and some other Nickelodeon celebrities. What a fucking fool. At the end of summer Nickelodeon Timeline Arcade event. Go to TimelineArcade.com for more information. Hit them up on Twitter. I believe it's at Timeline Arcade. And you're going to see all the graphics and the videos and all that good stuff. But more importantly... Is this, play, is this at a fucking arcade? Some of this is an adventure in my life. I'm nervous it's about probably it. It's my first convention. Traveling abroad for a convention. I'll get the selfie before I uh, reveal myself. But this is my first convention traveling abroad. Abroad. And I can't wait to meet. He's not going to go. No, he's not. And he's going to waste my fucking time. Because you're not in the yeah. area and you're not able to. Well, at least, hey, you can see, you can see Danny. Yeah. This event. 
It's, I'll be uh, so. I'll be so fucking mad. I will be so I fucking will mad. Have some con exclusives for these upcoming conventions I'm working on. I'll let you know about the other ones in a little bit. But I will now, be so fucking mad. I will mad. have a timeline arcade con exclusive photo set. But all of these will be made available right around the time on my merchandise store. Right around the time of the event, in case you can't make it. So check out my merchandise store. The links are down below. And other than that, come out. Have a good time. Let's live some good memories. And let's create more adventures and more good vibes. Good vibrations. We're talking good vibrations at the Timeline Arcade event. Timelinearcade.com. And if you can't pick up some merchandise or some autographs, they will be available from my personal merch store down below. Use code DONKEYLIPS in capital letters for 10% off. Wow, yeah, Timeline Arcade. It's a, Yeah, no, this is at a fucking arcade, bro. September. This the is at a arcade fucking events. arcade. September. And it's not TimelineArcade.com. It's .org. What a fucking retard. How much is this going to cost me? How much is this fucking bullshit gonna cost me? I guess it's it is just York PA. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mikey Raider. Or Michael Bauer. I wanted to see this because he's actually on what walking. Day it is it is football time, so I call myself Mikey Raider. But I'm doing a walkie talkie. I'm not doing it live. We'll do it live. But here's a walkie talkie. Okay, it's twenty five bucks in to get in. Evenings. Oh, wait a minute, what? For the anxiety files. How much to get out? I needed to wait get out and take a, a walk, minute. even though I did one yeah. earlier. Okay, so it's... Today, it's 20... Dude, listen to this pricing. Right this pricing is ridiculous. For VIP, it's $250. So I could pay $25 to go from 10 to 1... Or $25 to go from 2 to 5... Or $25 to go... From six to nine. So you're gonna go three hours at a time. Yeah. No. Nah. That's fine. I just did a couple of podcasts, and um, my blood pressure started to go up, and then I did a, a Raider football podcast, and I just had some issues with it so my anxiety was livened and hypened up and i was like dude you know what spray some water on your face instead of lying down and freaking out is he what is he talking about go walk and try to re get rid of it this is a real anxiety files video my apologies if it gets dark did he say something about a podcast everything oh i gotta and hear that again I gotta hear this again. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking online. Today, I had a lot of anxiety right now. I just did a couple of podcasts. Okay, he did and, a couple of podcasts. Um, I thought he was talking about us. My blood pressure in York, Pennsylvania, with a bunch of Nickelodeon actors Danny Cooksey, Natanya Ross, um, Danny Tamborelli, Lori Beth Denberg, Josh Server, um, we're going to shell people to $25 tickets per three hours. If they want to go for, for the day, they need to pay $75. Come meet me. It's in York, Pennsylvania on September 14th. It's at an arcade. I think Donald Trump is doing a press conference or a speech. At the arcade York, earlier. I think, yeah, he's going to be today, there at 7 a.m. from 10, 10 a.m. So that was interesting that I saw. He's going to get a Donkey Kong kill screen there. <laughs> yeah, I heard Trump I was going for the kill screen. Talking Raider football on Raider <laughs> That would be Live. so cool That's if Donald Trump channel. was playing Donkey All Kong and got a kill screen. Search YouTube Raider Central Live. And, um, what would... Uh, I do a show called... Kamala would have to... Billy... Uh, Billy Mitchell... It's a good what show. would Billy Mitchell say then? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Kamala would do well, one to try to get the Pac-Man kill didn't screen. Agree with no, the uh, Ladybug or whatever the guy the who yeah. runs around. Coming a problem. In my eyes, I think they're going to become a problem. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. And we didn't agree. 
Uh, they didn't like the premise of the, the topic. And I do have a conspiratorial mind, and I tend to find the worries. And I'm a half glass empty type person, unfortunately, in my life. He shaved his head again. So, he shaved his hair. Man, he looks like a fucking mental a patient. Debate. Um, and I'm not really one for like fighting or debating. That, but, but but that's why I try to do the show, because I'm trying to learn how to do that to be a master debater. But I try to do the show, and I try to learn to communicate with people, and even if we have differences, because we always can't agree. But I just felt the way this person reacted to my question, and... It felt like they needed to be right. They needed to prove a point. Is he going to tell us what podcast this is? just felt aggressive and combative. And I know it's not. We're all good. There's no problems after the fact. But my body reacts with my blood pressure. Whenever things get heated or in arguments, I kind of want to avoid them. Then why do these um, podcasts, man? So this one... It just really messed with me. This podcast um, fucked his head I thought, up. Because I thought, you know, they, if they agree with me or they don't, they could react better. But is it my place to tell them how to react? But if they know that this makes me freak out or have anxiety or, or fears or worries, I hope they'll react better in the future. But I just hate that my body is like this and my brain is like this, where any little problem that is in front of me, in my mind, kind of becomes like a huge problem. Like, it feels like the end of the world, you know? Not for them, but for me. And I hate that. I hate that my, my heart freaks out, my brain freaks out. I just, I'm a very insecure person, and I wish I wasn't. But I am. And um, I wish I know, knew how to deal with things better. At least but he's I, out walking. But I don't. Finally. Every I know he's done a couple process. of these. I, we just haven't watched them. Um, I don't communicate that much. I don't hang out with a lot of people. To, so I can learn how to deal with it. So it all freaks me out. So it made me even worried about traveling and stuff like that in the future which i'm trying to do to make some money to get some income also to live my life to stop feeling like my life is over there's a lot there's a lot that goes on you know in people's heads um and how's he gonna fly are about is just talking about anxiety or things that make us worry, and, and it's like cheaper than therapy, you know? And you guys are just listening. And all I can say is I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. For you guys just to listen and watch, and um, supporting like many of you do. So shout out to everybody. I freaking love you all. God bless you. Appreciate you. He was How shook. do you guys deal with stress and turmoil? A lot of people choose drinking or drugs. He or chooses stuff like eating that. and sitting on the and couch. That's not the right choice. Making up excuses. Oh, no, the <laughs> oh somebody. I don't know how much more lighting we're going to have. I think it might have been. Somebody said that so, he perfectly. Let me do... uh, Make sure no cars are coming. Get on the sidewalk. Yeah, this guy said that he he's pretty sure Mike has go. Peter Pan sat, uh, syndrome. I watched a couple of movies <laughs> where he just yet. never watched, grew up. Uh, Fly me to the moon. Yeah. I thought that was a psyop movie. You know where they're trying to show it to psyop. So people in the future, when they're asked, was the moon landing faked, or people believe it. They can go, oh, watch the movie Fly Me to the Moon. It's about Project Artemis. What? And yes, they faked it, but they didn't have to use the footage. 
because they really went to the moon. So it's kind of like a PSYOP. I'll talk about that on a movie review, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Then, what movie did I watch the other day? Oh, Jackpot. Um, He's 49 years old and he just... Aquafina. Aquafina and John Cena. <laughs> um, it was pretty decent. He doesn't want it to adult. The concept like the purge. He literally doesn't want won to adult. Money and people can take the money if they. He has no interest in it. L L them before sunset. It was actually funny. It was action oriented. Yeah, it destroyed him in a different way than most. In my opinion, it's crazy. For the first time in their life, he's chasing it. It's like him. Hollywood is like uh, Bauer's heroin. He's just chasing the next hit. And it's never going to be enough. You know what I mean? It's not sustainable. But it's just enough of a high. A lot of people, when they're walking, to keep coming back. It's like he's on an oxygen bar. That's really what it's like. (laughs) Yeah. I kind of want to move out of California. Just enough to stay um, alive. He's doing just reasons, enough. For safety reasons. For a better quality of life reasons. But he's like, he's just teetering on the edge. This is like one, like we've said it a million times. But again, one bill is going to sink him. that mean my career is over? And it's over. All of you this. You can do auditions online. I don't know what that means. Nowadays. We don't need to speculate, but. And then if you got a job, you could fly out. <laughs> if he got like a thousand dollar bill, Sometimes he'd be fucked. Sometimes you can move to like Louisiana or Atlanta. Dude, I have to take my cat to the vet tomorrow. Or Detroit. That's going to be some however much that, expensive. Texas, I don't even know. That have like I don't know what's wrong with her. She's like starting to wheeze. She's got like a wheeze. still work out there. So. <laughs> Or I don't I know if uh, this is the range. end for Fluffy Cat, but and then only have to take a flight. <laughs> Hopefully, it's just a hairball they can fucking get, get out of her. That'd be good. Uh, I think I she's only like twelve, but I need one. Right. right my mom's. Right. My just... mom had a Fluffy Cat like her, uh, and she only lasted until she got stomach cancer and then at nine. There is somebody so, like, recently. I think Fluffy Cat's I've maybe twelve. Been to that may be donating. We'll see. They she's just got a little wheeze where she's like going to have a decent working computer. <laughs> I get in like I hear it when she's sleeping. That I'm using now, Could be heartworms. I looked like into it a bit. Two thousand ten. Ever since my mm. two thousand twelve we'll computer see. broke. We'll see what they say. She's a fluffy cat. Uh, she hasn't gotten a fur now, ball out in a while. I usually pay attention to that. It's barely working. But I'm blessed to have it. But this person is really cool. I kn- I've known them for many years. You know, it's not the little fake offers like people on other podcasts, you know, pulling a troll move tried to do on me. Uh, they're going to send me a computer from 2017. What? Okay. And it's a couple things. Couple things to un- power- couple things to unpack here. He should not be accepting a computer sent to him by anyone that's not completely wiped because that's a... Oh my god, it's Nobody Loves Onions. They're sending, they're doing the thing. Oh my god, they're going to send them a computer and they're going to have a backdoor in it. I guarantee it, you guys. Somebody is sending him a computer with backdoors, just like Dia, uh, just like fucking Review Tech tried to do. It's the exact same fucking thing. Um... Yeah, he's saying that we he's saying that we fucking didn't we it was a troll offer, excuse me. Really cool. I I've known them for many years. You know, it's not the little fake offers like Chet offered him $500 to watch the fucking stupid movie he's in with us. I'm not kidding. Chet offered him money. These aren't fake offers, Bauer. We offered you hundreds of dollars on multiple occasions to do a show with us. And he just, like, thinks it's... F- what a fucking idiot. That's what he... If that's what he thinks, and he's just People fucking on stupid. on other podcast, you know, pulling a troll move tried to do on me. But they're going to send me a computer from 2017. Yeah, that's not a troll move. Not and sending you a computer decent. from a 2017. than the other ones. I do that's going to have backdoors. Probably <laughs> another 8 gigabytes of RAM to make it... Uh, at least 12 gigabytes because it only has four, but still. He's going to fall for this. I think I can do that. So what a blessing to possibly have that gift coming. What a fucking retard. Uh, I just wanted to remind everybody I have a... See, that's something we... One spot yeah, yeah Chet's setting him a computer from 2017 a with a bunch of backdoors in it. $25. Uh, so if you want to play fantasy football versus me, 
for a price pool of that's what review tech usa did to his editor for my time my videos my swag my autographs uh join my fantasy league only a few more days left until it's completely filled up there's one spot available there's only one so spot left guys on this page you won't get paid out if you win how you can play fantasy football versus me or send me an email or a dm on social media links you won't get paid but email addresses i'll take all, all your monies so check it out let me try to get to an area where there's a little bit of lighting so we can continue talking I'll go to the edge of this street up here. Looks like there's lights there. Um, when I see him in uh, yeah, September, I should I ask about uh, the money that he owes that to. guy for fantasy football? And it sucks because my heart has been hurting lately as the stress and my anxiety has been get building and building because I've been getting really busy. I run a lot of fantasy football leagues. I run a couple of YouTube channels. I got like three conventions coming up that I had to start preparing for, printing photos for. And then I've also had some auditions. No way. Uh, for some TV shows and movies. No fucking way. And being way. busy is a good thing. And it'll hopefully produce income and more adventures soon. But I'm not used to it. I'm kind of used to just even having one thing to do all day. It's kind of too much hard on my brain when there's a lot of things to do. I don't know how to manage my time correctly. I don't know how to. You were just talking about correctly. one thing to do. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to do when I get really busy. You know, like basically to wake up at like nine or ten in the morning and go to work all day till five or six. Maybe I'll get a or hotel room. Communicating. I'll stay the night. Whatever you need. <clears> to go to the convention updating. in the morning. Your websites, your merchandise stores, whatever. I'm not used to that. Probably I'm not I'll good do. at it. But I gotta be. If I want to be any bit of a success in the <clears> future, <throat> I have to be. I have to be better. Um, so that's what I'm striving toward. But it's really hard on me mentally, physically. All of this you stuff. Need to you need to shift your sleeping schedule there, Mikey. Can't be waking up at nine or ten. Street. Yeah. There's a main street up ahead. Uh, a lot of people out tonight. I don't know if I should say hello or whatever. I I get nervous. What race I'm not are they, Mike? A lot of people lately. Depends but on I the will race. Be at the conventions. Yep, you'll be I'll around me. People like you, and I think I'm going to go watch a Raider game in Baltimore the day after the Timeline Arcade Convention. I think I'm going to watch a Raider game. Baltimore is a um, ways from And then I think I'm going to go visit Washington, D.C. Maybe Dude, look no at the way. White House. No way. On that Monday. Um, and do some other things with a really good friend of mine. Hopefully I'll make some videos and share it with you guys. So that'll be something that'll be interesting and fun. Oh, I smell the marijuana. Marijuana. He's a really good friend. Where have they been this entire time? Yeah, right. I, uh, I, I might be that wet movie one guy. See if there's any light that'll get better up, up in here. Oh, goodness. While we talk for a few more minutes. I just get nervous. There's a lot of people around. It freaks me out. A lot of blacks. Chippy chips. We get off of the street. A lot of chippy chips. Or the middle of the street. And get towards some lighting. Is there anything else to talk about? Well, I'm hoping to have the return of the Happy Alien podcast and do more conspiracy videos or podcast in the near future. But uh, let's be honest. They're not good on YouTube. I get shadow banned. My Raider channel, Shadow Band. I used to have 50,000 subscribers on my original Raiders channel. Um, then some bad stuff happened. Bad stuff and happened. And I legally lost the channel. Legally lost it? What? And then I had to make another channel. 
like a year or two later, and I'm only at like 3,000 subscribers. And people, they're fine. Let me take a break. People are barely finding my channel again, but I made the channel like five years ago, the new channel. And the people are barely finding me. And they're like, oh my God. Like I'm having other guests on that channel from previous years, other guests that have a bigger YouTube channel, but I might've helped them start their YouTube channel many years ago and they're being on my channel. And then people are following them because they promote their being on my Raider podcast. And then people are following them and then they're writing me messages. Oh my God, Mikey Raider. I didn't know you were making videos anymore. I'm so glad I found you. None of oh this my happened. God, you know, I've missed you. And then I think or I've one, added, like, they happened one time. 300 subscribers the last two or three weeks because I've had guests from other channels. But Speaking of which, when did we hit 100? Freak out that I'm shadow banned. On our uh, Discord. You know, I have no idea. Because I had legal issues with the channel. Many I don't understand how people are still joining it. Because I had their logo, their trademark, you know, on my pictures. I, I the guess the link is still in the YouTube and, videos. You know, some of their footage. <clears throat> so it was a big mess. But it just sucks that YouTube, like, probably writes in their algorithm the name of my channel, Raider Central, or my nickname, Mikey Raider. They write in there, and they shadow ban it. And I ha if I put it in my search terms or whatever, nobody finds my videos. And nobody, oh, oh there he is. There's Mikey Raider. <laughs> And then I let my 5,000 Twitter followers know where I'm at, but not all of them, you know, join or subscribe to the new channel. But that was like five or six years ago when I made it. So it's just interesting. That's why I hate YouTube sometimes. I just freaking hate it. I don't know, Mike. But They're your that, employer. This video finds you guys healthy, happy, and blessed. And I want the best for everybody. Um, I really do. I don't like having enemies or haters or... Or anybody like that, per my opinions, or whatever the case is. I don't want to live my life that way, you know? Because it sucks. You want to be loved by everybody. Yeah, can't be. we're blood enemies, though, but Mikey. Like, There's nothing like, you can do about it now. So mad? You know, why do they hate you so much just for talking or existing? Why do they got to make fun of everything you do? <laughs> to each their own, I guess. But everybody was born a, a good quality human till they were brainwashed by society, till they were turned evil either by their parents or the structure of real life. Damn. You know, we all get jaded. Yeah, we all get jaded. Uh, Brutal takedown of modern about? day society. Oh, my diet. I ended the vegetarian diet about, I think after, I did it officially like 31 days. Then I just recently bought more food. Um, thanks to the good graces of the government, or EBT, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, he I probably went nuts. My food about six or seven days ago. And bought so much meat. Eight days ago, it might have been. And this time, I bought a lot more meat. Mm. Um, and I didn't buy a lot of carbs. Uh, I should have made but a video, meat. but I've been pretty damn busy. But I guess I'm trying the carnivore diet, but I bought, like, less potatoes, less and this and that. But I still bought some vegetables. Um, but I was craving meat. And then I messed up in the last video. I told you I ordered McDonald's, which I did. Really messed up my stomach for a couple of days. But then I bounced back. And um, have I had any meat since then? No. Well, yesterday. I made a pot roast. I made a pot roast with mm. um, pork. That was probably pretty tasty. some potatoes. Not a lot. I normally put a lot more potatoes. And I put carrots and celery. Those two and, women were just like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And what else did I put in there? Celery, carrots, onions, and a little bit of flavoring, like sodium. And I had to cook it for like five hours. Ramen packet. And I had that last night. Oh, it tasted so great. I love slow-cooked meals. Hey, we got a Raider fan driving his car behind. It's pretty awesome. But I love slow-cooked meals, and I truly, truly appreciate it. And this car's kind of parking, scaring me the fuck out. Uh, tripping. I get afraid when, when they drive by slowly and then they park. You know, maybe they were looking at me or something. And then they park in a red zone right now. Like, I get nervous. But, hey, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Uh-oh, I don't want that to happen. But the pot roast tasted fantastic. And I used uh, a little bit of spices, meaning like a hot sauce, just a little bit with some ketchup. For some reason, I, I like putting ketchup on the potatoes. On the taters. Mama made me some french fried taters. And put in a sling blade. Mm-hmm. How, how much of french fried potatoes? Put in a sling blade. Put it with the mustard. 
one of the coolest movies. Well acted by Billy Bob. So that tasted really good. And I'm still going to have leftovers tonight. But I wasn't feeling so great stomach-wise because it's still not the best food to have the pork. So my stomach was hurting today. So I took an Alka Seltzer. But yeah, I'm probably going to have that for the next couple of days. Because it'll, it'll feed me for like three or four days. He's just like up against a telephone chicken, pole just rambling pies, about um, what he bought at the store into a camera. a lot of chicken. He's definitely fish. like... And I still have the rice. About he's the so rice. mentally unstable at this point. <laughs> and then I bought celery. I'm sorry, lettuce, celery, tomatoes. You know, and then I bought, oh, ground turkey I bought as well. So I can still make a turkey taco. Oh, and the other day, that's right. I ate meat before the pork. I had a, a turkey dog. Or turkey chili dog. You know, like the turkey. He's going to make turkey toilet turkey, tacos, dude. Um, turkey, turkey toilet tacos incoming. And then I bought a turkey chili with no beans. Imagine and him so draining a whole, straining the entire, ago. like all the turkey and over the shitter. Back, I think it's eight. It'll be so, so it'll be so much water, so much liquid. You know what I mean? With a little bit of salad. And again, it's not the healthiest food, but my God, coming off a vegetarian diet. <laughs> those fat feelings that I always have for the rest of my life. Oh. Looks like he's about you to know, cry like talking about this of, meat. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's what the pot roast has done for me. The chili, the turkey chili dogs have done for me. And then, you know, I, I do love rice, chicken, and beans, and salads, and stuff like that. Um, and then I still got the peanuts and the mixed nuts. I still got some eggs. Oh, that's right. I made a mushroom omelet the other day as well. No meat, but vegetables, tomatoes, and stuff and mushrooms, and a little bit of cheese in, like, a, an omelet, a mushroom omelet a couple of days ago. So those are the meals I've eaten. Sorry I didn't film any of it, guys. I just have technology issues. Plus, I don't know how to set up camera shots. I don't really have editing equipment. What the fuck is he um, talking about? And I could edit on my phone, but it'll he's, take forever. He's my made so bad. many videos um, filming so the fucking uh, food. All right, let's... I gotta start. All of a sudden, he doesn't know how to film him cooking? Well, yeah, I need to go back what? to where I came from, because... My place is a couple streets that way. So, um, so oh, let me get the camera on me. So, more importantly, how, how is everybody's day doing? And, again, I hope this message finds you in good health, good spirits, good life. And just thank you guys for hanging out with me on today's Anxiety Files. I don't know how long it was, how perfect it was, but I appreciate it. And if you guys feel the need, again, donations, super chats really help me out at my time of need because... Was this live? I'm trying to figure out a live to video more did super chats? And more Can you super chat a video once it's up, been Because I really like, want to premiered? impress my agency so I can hopefully do more conventions traveling <laughs> in the future. So I'm really trying to do my best and bring out my spirits and, and just be an amazing person for you guys to <coughs> to and hang out with for a little bit. Somebody and commented and said arcade, we should get some of our low cows together. Have well, they do have arcade to do a low cow podcast, um, survival oh, yeah, low cow podcast. Unless I stay in the light, it could be Mike, because uh, 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 he would probably be able to I'll, do I'll it. Try to stay around here for a split second. You got to think who would be able to do it. Of me. Um, they're gonna have like classic Mike, arcade games. And I'm uh, to some of the fans. TS Nintendo Gamer has gone I dark. A few people hanging out with me, and, and I, I don't want to involve them. them in some of the classic arcade games. You know, Can you like imagine Dragon's Giggle Lair, Pickles doing one? Trying to get there, her together? Be like, Pickles, you, seriously. And I can't wait to play like, whatever money, like, we're going to split it 25, 25, 25. We get three of them. Pamper Chew, so Mike, the, uh, Michael Ray Bauer, or Philadelphia or York, and I guess Giggle Pickles, or, or maybe Rocco. We could probably get Rocco to do it. Yeah, Rocco's, Giggle Pickles could never do it at this point. She's not reliable. Get your tickets now. But Rocco, Bauer, like $25 at the door. And pamper and you. Come and try to support me and say hello. Doing a podcast. Like should be an amazing thing. That would be way better and than Lol Cow Live. Other than that, hundred percent. with this. That'd be stay so happy, good. Stay healthy, stay blessed. Hate can't hurt happy. Thank you guys for chiming in on today's. Hate anxiety can't file. hurt happy. And you definitely helped me ease <clears throat> my anxiety. Sorry, something popped up on my phone. I don't know what it was. Well, we'll see you soon, Mike. So we'll you see guys you definitely soon. helped me today. Just going for a walk. And what was one of the videos I watched the See other day?